Since the dawn of consciousness, humans have gazed up at the stars, pondering the mysteries of life, death, and what lies beyond. In every civilization, in every era, there has been a persistent yearning for a timeless existence. From the age-old human desire for immortality, the relentless quest to transcend the boundaries of time and leave an indelible mark on the pages of existence, and from the promises of the gods we created to the pledges of the god who created us, from the elixirs of ancient alchemists to the mythical fountains of youth, the pursuit of immortality has woven its way through the tapestry of human history. Perhaps our insatiable hunger for continued existence stems from our innate fear of the unknown, losing our loved ones forever, the uncertainty that awaits us beyond the threshold of mortality. Or it could be the desire to witness the unfolding of the universe's grand narrative, to be a spectator in the cosmic theater for all eternity. In the 21st century, we find ourselves at the crossroads of science and ambition. For the first time since we started walking on two feet, science and technology have opened up extraordinary possibilities in our quest to halt the relentless ticking of the aging clock. It's as if we've embarked on a journey to redefine the very essence of our existence. Advancements in anti-aging research are pushing the boundaries of what we once thought was science fiction. From genetic interventions to cellular rejuvenation, scientists are exploring avenues to slow down or even reverse the aging process. When it comes to regeneration and rejuvenation, nature has long been a source of inspiration for scientists. Remarkable regenerative abilities observed in organisms, such as the axolotl and planaria, have captivated scientists for decades. The axolotl, for instance, can regrow entire limbs throughout its life, a feat that seems like science fiction for humans. Planaria, a type of flatworm, displays extraordinary regenerative capabilities by reforming into complete organisms from small fragments when cut into small pieces. The immortal jellyfish has taken the concept of immortality literally to a whole new level. The jellyfish can technically live forever by reversing its life cycle over and over again. Even in humans, the liver stands out as a regenerative powerhouse capable of repairing and regrowing tissue. While nature has long figured out rejuvenation, it is only now in history that we find ourselves capable of eluding the grasp of death. Imagine a future where our bodies can be fine-tuned, like a well-crafted instrument extending our health span and allowing us to savor the richness of life for longer. The good news is, we are already living in that very future. With the recent breakthroughs in genetics, stem cell research, and cryonics, not only can we bring the dead back to life, but also live our age-old dream of longevity, youthfulness, and pristine health. One fascinating research in aging control is one done by Dr. David Sinclair. After over 13 years of rigorous research and experimentation, David Sinclair and his team of scientists at the University of New South Wales finally figured out how to turn on or off, speed up or otherwise slow down the aging clock. Scientists previously believed that aging was triggered by gene mutations in the DNA these mutations can over time mess up a cell's normal operations and trigger the process of cell death. That theory was turned down by Sinclair for the fact that older people's DNA was often not riddled with mutations and that many animals and humans who were harboring a higher concentration of mutated cells didn't age prematurely. Dr. Sinclair and his team therefore focused on another part of the genome called the epigenome since all cells have the same DNA blueprint, 
The epigenome is what makes skin cells turn into skin cells and brain cells into brain cells. It does this by providing different instructions to different cells for which genes to turn on and which to keep silent. Sinclair's research emphasizes that the main drivers of aging aren't mutations to the DNA, but miscues in the epigenetic instructions that somehow go awry. Sinclair has long proposed that aging is the result of losing critical instructions, that cells need to continue functioning, and what he calls the information theory of aging. Underlying aging is information that is lost in cells, not just the accumulation of damage. That's a paradigm shift in how to think about aging. According to the study, epigenome works exactly the way computer software runs the hardware. But sometimes the software becomes corrupt and needs a reboot. In their mice study, the team mimicked the effects of aging on the epigenome by introducing breaks in the DNA of young mice. The results were stunning. Within weeks, the mice began showing the signs of older age, including gray fur, lower body weight despite unaltered diet, reduced activity, and increased frailty. The team then run a reboot in the form of a gene therapy essentially instructing the cells to reprogram themselves and restart the epigenetic changes that define their identity. The researchers turned the aging clock back 57%, enough to make the mice youthful again. If the cause of aging was because a cell became full of mutations, then age reversal would not be possible. But by showing that we can reverse the aging process, that shows that the system is intact that there is a backup copy and the software needs to be rebooted. Sinclair and his fellow researchers have already tested the system in non-human primates, and it works. Sinclair has already rejuvenated eye nerves multiple times. The implications of being able to age and rejuvenate tissues, organs, or even entire animals, or people are mind-bending. Such rejuvenation and age reversal technologies raise more questions than answers. Questions like, what it means to be able to rewinding the clock back on aging. How do we navigate the ethical implications of potentially extending human lifespan? Who gets access to these technologies? And how do we ensure fairness? The long-term health implications of such interventions. It's a brave new world of possibilities, but navigating these questions will be crucial for a responsible and sustainable future. Now, when I see an older person, I don't look at them as old. I just look at them as someone whose system needs to be rebooted. It's no longer a question of if rejuvenation is possible, but a question of when. Enter cryonics, a modern day chapter in our age old saga for immortality. The dream of preserving not just our stories, but the very essence of who we are, freezing the sands of time to stand defiant against the inevitable. In labs around the world, brilliant minds are pushing the boundaries of medical science, exploring the potential of cryopreservation to halt the aging process and preserve the delicate dance of life within our very cells. From groundbreaking advancements in organ preservation to the study of cryoprotectants, the toolkit for defying the ravages of time is expanding. Picture a world where diseases that once claimed countless lives become mere footnotes in the annals of medical history. Well, that's exactly what life extension companies like Alcor are doing right now. Deep inside the desert city of Scottsdale, Arizona, 222 deep frozen bodies are awaiting a miracle in science and technology to help them come back to life. Among them are Dick Clare, an Emmy award-winning television sitcom writer and producer, Hall of Fame baseball legend Ted Williams, and his son John Henry Williams. These are the people Alcor refuses to call dead bodies and calls them patients instead. The concept of cryonics has led to hundreds of individuals making the decision to have their bodies preserved in the hopes that future advancements in science and medicine will offer a cure for the diseases that led to their demise. It's a unique and somewhat controversial choice, a gamble on the belief that the passage of time will bring about the solutions that eluded them in their lifetimes. These individuals, suspended in a state of cryopreservation, 
exist in a suspended animation of sorts, awaiting a future where diseases that claim their lives may be conquered. Cryonics is a process that involves lowering the temperature of a deceased body, aiming to halt all metabolic and chemical processes. The idea is to preserve the body until science can provide the cure for the illness. Recent advancements primarily revolve around improving vitrification, a method that replaces cellular water with a cryoprotectant. This prevents the formation of damaging ice crystals during the freezing process. This breakthrough has practical applications in organ preservation for transplantation, extending the viability window, and potentially revolutionizing the field of organ transplants. When it comes to the brain, the seat of consciousness, research is focused on neurocryopreservation. The objective here is not just preserving the body, but also the intricate neural connections that define an individual. Congratulations, you have come to the end of this episode. We create informational content on anything science and technology. To keep your eyes on new scientific developments and breakthroughs, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.